everyone, and welcome to another round of questions and answers with Mamas Uncut, where you send in your questions about parenting, motherhood, relationships, and we give you the best advice we possibly can. And don't worry, all of the questions that you send in always remain anonymous. So again, we're welcoming back Lisa and Mindy. You guys ready to answer some questions? Absolutely. All yep. right, let's get to it. My boyfriend's mom acts cold towards my child. Does anyone have any advice? My boyfriend and I have been together for five years. We have 10 month old twin boys and I have a seven year old boy from a previous relationship. My boyfriend has been in my son's life since he was two and he is so good with him. My boyfriend's mother has always been so sweet to my son and me until the twins came, her biological grandchildren. Now she is hateful towards my oldest. She threatened to yank him up at Easter dinner in my home. Then tonight he tried to call her mama, which he never does. And I thought it was his way of feeling connected since that's his brother's mama. But she completely ignored him. He said it a couple of times and she wouldn't even look at him until I said, hey, he is talking to you. It hurt my feelings so bad, but should I do something about this? You don't weaponize children yeah. ever. I this is a, it's another mother son issue. <laughs> so yeah. I come from the camp. I come from the camp of you talk to your mom, and if if they're if they've been together five years, I mean that's a long time to have a relationship and then be rude to your, you know, the child that's in your um, your son's life. It's a very, very difficult, but I would, I would make the son tackle his uh, mother and deal with that issue, especially since there is the separation of they're not actually married yet. And I don't know if it seems like maybe the twins came along and that caused some sort of a, a change in the grandma. It could be age too. Seven year olds start to kind of turn into meanies. <laughs> they're not quite as cute and little anymore. They get sass <laughs> on them. That is true. But, so I don't know if that's factoring into it, but it's still not okay to talk to a child like that. Not okay to ignore them, especially when they're reaching out in a, in a sweet way. You don't deny them like that. That's sad. I mean, so I, I struggle with how somebody, like if you are, if you are part of a family, you know, it's your family and you know, we've had some very odd operating environments in my own family. And at the end of the day, if you're opting to be part of it and participate, like this mother-in-law or the, the, the boyfriend's mom is, you take the whole enchilada mm -hmm. with the bad and like, that's your family. And if you can't, if you can't get there, it's okay. But don't, you know, this isn't, this isn't the supermarket where you get to pick, you know, what food you want to bring home today. It's their family. And I think the son saying to his mom, Hey, you know, I look at this boy, like he is my son, please mm -hmm. do the same is not a bad conversation to have. But at the end of the day, you know, that, that grandma needs to, to take the whole enchilada. What else are you going to do? Yeah, right because true. it gets too divisive and too um unhealthy both for the kids but for the over the underlying family dynamic yeah yeah i agree with that too and i also think it could potentially be you know playing switzerland again that <laughs> grandma might not even realize because yeah. i mean i think it's just like oh it's her first biological grandchildren okay there mm -hmm. is a little bit more weight behind that they're carrying on the family name especially if he has their boys if that's you know um, and so it, I'm wondering if someone just needs to bring it to her attention, like, Hey, your, your relationship with him has changed a little bit since the twins came along. Do you realize that? Is there something we need to talk through? Um, again, I think, you know, someone could get defensive about that, but at the same time, you know, it sounds like these people are going to be together, hopefully, you know. Yeah. You know, you have kids together. You're going to be in a mm -hmm. life regardless of how your relationship ends up. So, um, yeah, I think it needs to be definitely talked about. You can't just have this little boy being like, okay, why is this lady who used to be so nice to me now all of a sudden, like, 
not want my attention. Yeah. Yeah. What the grandma doesn't realize is that her treating the twins older child, uh, older sibling like that is going to affect her relationship with her biological grandchildren. Yeah. So it's, you can't just cherry pick in families. You're exactly right. Yeah. Get the whole deal, the whole messy deal. Yeah. Yep. All right, guys. Well, don't forget to send us your questions and remember they always stay anonymous. Bye.